So Wollumpiri Jungle Jari has really emerged as one of the, the leading artists of the Central Desert Movement today. And it's quite odd that he's become such an international star showing at um, exhibitions like Documenta in Kassel, Germany. Um, because for the first two decades of his life, Wollumpiri was living a nomadic existence in the desert. He, he in fact didn't see uh, uh, white people until uh, he was in his 20s when uh, his family came out of the desert. Now, Wallen Peary um, starts painting about a decade after that, uh, and he's working really at that stage under the tutelage of a lot of his, um, a lot of his older relatives. And so he picks up the, the kind of stark, meandering line work that uh, is quite common uh, amongst artists in the Central Desert. But he raises it up with a real optical intensity. And the way that he does that is that he will produce the outlines of his works first. So he'll use a brush and he will, uh, on a, usually on a red uh, canvas, will um, do these kind of complex swirling lines. And once he's done that, he'll take uh, you know, a thin uh, stick or the end of the brush and he will dot them along. And what those connected dots do is give the work this real optical dazzle. And I think that there are very few artists in the world whose works can shimmer and sheen just like um, Wallen Peary's do. Now, because Wallen Peary had uh, spent such a formative period of his early life in the desert, when he came out of the desert, um, he, was, he was really revered, uh, revered as, a, as an important um, a figure of cultural knowledge. He was considered to be a healer of magical powers. And I think that when you look at um, his paintings, it's quite uh, easy to reconcile that because they have a real altitude. Uh, and, and, and that kind of sparkle and shimmer and sheen is a really good metaphor for this um, important Aboriginal concept of the dreaming, or, or as he would call it, Jukpa. Uh, and Jukpa is this idea, it's a kind of a structuring idea, it structures the whole of existence. Um, but um, it reveals itself through the ancestral presence in the landscape. So a place like Marawa, uh, which is um, on the great salt lake, um, salt lake, uh, Lake Mackay uh, in the desert, Marawa is a very, very significant place and a place rich in ancestral history. And it's ancestral history that reveals itself in the shimmer and the sheen of the landscape. And really that's some of the things that Wong Peary is getting at 